Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so we are studying our Kerbal Space Station. And yeah, so we got a lot of stuff on here and I hope you guys pretty much know what all this stuff is. I don't. I, 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 I have somewhat of a clue, but yeah, so we're going to start off a Kerbal Space Station and I'm looking to kind of pack in some different stuff and kind of make it a little bit different than my other ones. So the one good question I have is there's a mod out there with Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I can't think of what it is. It's parts. Um, they're solar panels. And they are like the International Space Station solar panels, but I can't seem to find find where these panels exist there we go engines cut out I let this go a little bit past because I figured we were probably going to lose a little bit of thrust on that but yeah they're, they're solar panels but they're really big they're like you know uh, international space station size panels because this mod uh, the near future mod has a very big solar panel but it goes out uh, the uh, width-wise, not length-wise, and wow, we are getting more frame rate issues again. I don't know what's going on with that, but it, it's very weird. Uh, and so we'll start our turn here. I, I kind of waited a little bit too long for that, but I figured we should start on some kind of a major project right now. The Duna thing has to get started here very soon, and I've been just kind of being lazy about it and I really shouldn't be but you know it just things kind of happen wow what is going on I think it has to do with this because it only happens when we launch on the dark side and I'm not very happy with that I'm probably going to have to figure out something otherwise we will be deleting that open this up and just start nosing over even more I been, haven't been paying attention so much but yeah so I put together some of the main trust for this and we need to turn the lights on there we go that looks really nice so this one I did put some lights on it I figured you know oh god what am I doing there we go uh, bring this back up there we go uh, I figured you know with a lot of my other construction and all my other pieces and Another mention, just my launches in general have been all satellites. I figured I might as well get a fairly decent, just blow that away, there we go, perfect. Uh, I figured we might as well get something into orbit that is actually substantial, and even Doggy agrees. I don't know if you guys can hear Mr. Doggy, but yeah. I figured we might as well get some kind of substantial, massive piece into orbit and you know kind of start working on something of substance on my channel because we have been kind of stagnant in in the whole construction area recently which I haven't been very much okay with but you know there isn't really much I can do and we need to get our antenna out I forgot about that almost almost forgot I should make it some kind of a key that way I won't forget but let's just keep nosing over here. That way we're not going to keep running out. But I should mention, I did get a few satellites into orbit. You guys can see that is looking amazing. And, you know, the, the network is fairly decent now. Um, a lot of my satellites, like this guy, our last episode, the map, was not really staying up. And it was kind of having issues. Oh, God, I am probably... No, I'm, I'm good. I kind of want to put this at about 100 or so orbit. I don't want to get it any higher than that. And I think I'm going to leave it just, like, right here like that. That's already surpassing. And how much fuel do we got? Way too much. Way, way too much. I had to do something with this because I didn't want to pack on a whole ton of fuel and kind of not use it but you know that it, it happened that, that's all I can say so let's see just get ourselves into orbit here that way I can actually use time warp and I'm probably just gonna jettison this whole thing there's really no point in keeping it just 
use that to uh, equalize everything out. And oh my god, this thing is really shaky. Turn off the RCS. We don't even need... I don't know why I brought RCS with me. I, I figured we were going to need it, and I ended up just not even using it. So we'll, we'll get rid of this too. We might as well. See you later. Thank you. You served us well, but we did not need you. I, I really thought we might need a little bit more fuel, but really didn't need any of that. And, and not to mention, just overpowered stage in general. But yeah, you can see the, the network just kind of keeping up with us now. And I'm actually pretty happy about this considering it's been a little bit of an issue taking off now. It is a little bit easier. Just just a little bit. I figure that this thing was a little bit more heavier than it actually is. But you know what? It's not that big of a deal. I ended up putting some solar panels on it and a few other things. And are right, engines on? Now they are. There we go. Let's bring these up and we'll bring ourselves up to a hundred orbit. I probably gotta fix the inclination on this. I'll leave that there and we'll line up with the moon. And we also gotta activate one of our satellite dishes too. That way we can at least get a somewhat better connection. So. I think if I set this to the Kerbal Space Center or Mission Control, that should, or is it Kerbin? I think it's Mission Control. Whatever. We'll, we'll stick with Mission Control. I always get them mixed up. So we'll leave this at 99 and we're going to have to do a burn just to fix this orbit since it's, or six, fix this, uh, the apoapsis. It's a little high. I, I didn't mean for it to be that high, but whatever. We really brought way too much fuel as it is, so, you know, whatever. It's it's, it's all manageable. Alright, cool. Perfect. I figured we were going to either not have control or something, but... Just bring this down ever so nicely. Now, once again, I don't want to get this orbit absolutely perfect, but I'm going to try. And also... Whoa, there we go. Um... That's looking really good. I think I'll bring it down just a little bit more. Because we, we need to fix this inclination. So that's probably going to screw something up anyways. You always want to work on your inclination first. Because it just doesn't make any sense to do it the other way. It makes no sense to get your orbit like absolutely perfect. And then afterwards be like, oh yeah, inclination now. Because then you're just going to everything just gets thrown off again you can see 99 and that overall that, that that's not bad though hopefully we don't encounter any issue so we should be hitting a couple satellites too that I think this is pretty awesome uh, now we're gonna start having it's going to be at the point now where we aren't really going to have to worry about much with the satellites I don't think I mean th there is some issue in the network here and I, I do hope that it does get fixed but I don't think it's gonna be too much of an issue to solve there we go that is looking good that's at 99 8 and if we just swing over here I bet we could probably get the rest of this I think we'll have to do a burn just like right here. Oh god. Just like that. Oh. 99.7. You know what? I'll put it at 100. 100, 100 is good. Good enough for me. So I'll probably be fixing this a little bit, but yeah, so we got our first piece into orbit, and I will do a little bit about basically everything that's on here because I'm pretty sure you guys are a little bit clueless as to what I just launched and just get this pointed up we need it pointed up on uh, nope nope no, that's down there we go point it up there we go looking good so we got two solar panels on each side here each one of those produces about 20 power which isn't a lot 
and this will be helping out a lot. There, there is no Kerbals on board or anything, this is just the main truss. And, you know, on here we got some RCS storage. These tanks right here, all of these tanks are RCS storage. It, I wanted to add something to give it a little bit more realism, but, you know, it doesn't look that, you know, it, it's, you know I, I can't really... I, I figured this would be the best to go with, like, RCS tanks. Usually RCS tanks kind of signify, like, either fuel or oxygen or something like that. Because these are the oxygen canisters for the TAC life support. Which I'm not knocking them, they just don't look like oxygen tanks to me. Or food canisters or water tanks or anything like that. Which I'm not asking for real-to-life pieces but yeah that, that's kind of where that goes and then this right here is our waste storage and the carbon dioxide and wastewater so we got both sides are roughly the same we have a satellite dish here and we got some lights and all kinds of different stuff in here but overall roughly pretty much the same uh i'm looking forward to adding like the main truss piece here or well i should say like the main uh, tank or whatever the main Kerbal area the main hab but yeah this is probably going to be in about a hundred orbit I think that this is like the perfect orbit for it but yeah so anyways guys uh, if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to all you new people welcome if you have any suggestions for mods please let me know in the comments and uh, yeah I will see you next time